All right, ladies and gentlemen, TP has just spent a lot of hours crunching some serious numbers. What have you done, TP? So we were pretty interested to learn, um, got, got a spreadsheet going, pretty interested to learn what the difference between like the overall points ranking for the series and who actually spent the least time on course throughout the series for the enduro season last year. So I've been through every single race on Roots and Rain and for every single person that has been in the top 10, I've recorded their race time. And then if they were in the top 10 at one round, but not in any of the other rounds, I've included their race time for every race I did. There was 25 individual top 10 finishes throughout the season, but only, let me see, only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, only 17 of those 25 actually finished every single race. And out of that 17, nine of them were in the normal top 10. Um, Jack was the only person in the top 10 that didn't actually finish every single race. Oh, really? Which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, so the normal top 10 last year was Richie, Jesse in second, Alex Rideau in third, Reese Verner fourth, Charlie in fifth, in sixth was Yoon, in seventh was Dan Booker, in eighth was Slav, and in ninth was Matt Walker. Um, Jack was in tenth, but he's not included because he didn't finish all the races. So I've added up all the times. All right, uh, let, me, let me guess that. For the overall races, so Charlie's gonna guess. Firstly, who he thinks was the top three, and then he can guess where he is. All right, I reckon, I reckon gonna be Jesse, and then Richie. Oh, actually, Rideau. Did Rideau have a bad race? Richie? Is Richie have a bad race? All right, I'm gonna say Jesse, Richie, Rideau, and then I'm gonna put myself in front of Reese because I think Reese had a couple of races that weren't so good. And then, oh, Booker, Slab. I would always move Slab up like one or two places. Was Slab eighth or not? No. Uh, slab in the normal overall was eighth. Eighth. I'm gonna put Slab up to like sixth. I put myself in fourth. Then maybe Reese, then Yun. I might put Slav. Um, so anyway, that yeah. Does that make sense? Not really. Yeah, kind of. We might have to go through and relook at some of the times. Um, All right. So yeah. And then one see. more, one more guess. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon the overall time was? Winning race time for the whole season of racing. Well, I'm going to do how many races for this season. Seven races. I'm going to do an average of half an hour a race, I reckon. So that's three and a half hours, plus minus a little bit. So I'm going to say like three hours, 24. Interesting. Um, so. What's the overall race at the time? Drum roll. Yeah. Oh, we knock the table down. Um, Richie was the quickest race of the season, both in the overall and in time, with three hours, 16 minutes, 42.22 seconds. So Richie won both things, congratulations. We'll get you a prize. Yeah, we should get you a prize. Um, in second was Alex Rudeau, oh. who jumped up from third in the overall. He was 316.53.67 which is 11 seconds over an entire season it's behind. It's 11 seconds different. Yeah, 11 seconds difference over an entire season, which between him and Richie, he probably, he oh. lost 20 seconds to Richie, Justin, Medina. Really, so if, he had, yeah. if he, they both hadn't done Medina, yeah. he would have been 10 seconds in front of Richie. Yeah, so the whole season came down to like less than one race. Oh my God. In third on 3.17.50, so still, just over a minute behind was you, Charlie Murray. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, third quickest bike rider of the season. Nice. Uh, Reese was about 30 seconds behind you in fourth, so the fourth remained unchanged. Right. 
Fifth was Yoon, so he jumped up a place from sixth, and he was only 13 seconds behind uh, behind Reese. Yeah. Sixth was Dan Booker, yeah. who was only about 20 seconds behind him. Seventh was Matt Walker. Yeah. Eighth was Jesse. So Jesse went from second in the overall to eighth because he must have had one bad race. One bad race. Uh, and ninth was Martin Mays. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Ninth was Slav, and then Martin was 10th. Ten. But Slav and Martin both must have had a pretty bad race at some point. Like, I think Slav was in the 100th one race because he's on, like, a 3.22, so he's quite far behind, and Martin was on the yeah, 3.24. Yeah. So, yeah, there you have it. Wow. A couple of stats. So now we know. We might have to do another one for this year. That's epic. That's cool. We need, um, I reckon, shout out to Misspent Summers because they actually inspired this. And TP obviously has done all the hard work. But Misspent Summers, if you watch this video, we would love to see this in the next magazine. TP will happily do it for you. He's already got the spreadsheet. So I have to learn a better way of doing it because this only took about five hours. But he charges at a rate of about uh, 100 bucks an hour. So he can do it for you. Um, but yeah, super interesting. And where are the stats guys here at Morzine? But thanks TP for the sum up. And any questions or any other stats you want to know, drop, drop it in the comments and we probably won't look at them, but just drop it in the comments anyway. <laughs>